It's been three weeks since I launched my spring collection, and it's not going as well as I would have hoped. I received about 14 orders the first few days, but since I've managed to just get two more, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for any order that I receive, but unfortunately, it doesn't make my life any less stressful. A part of me wants orders so that I can make money, but another part is fine that I haven't received as many because the stress that comes with an overflow of orders that I have to make by myself is exhausting. They tell you to turn your passions into your career, monetize your hobbies so you don't have to work a day in your life. That is bullshit. Ever since I was 13, I've been pursuing my dreams of becoming a fashion designer and I would do anything in my power to try and learn and get as many opportunities as possible to make those dreams come true. And my parents have always supported that dream and they would do anything to help me even if they financially couldn't. And a big part of me always felt really guilty about that. I've seen my parents struggle and still provide with all that I needed to succeed, so I told myself that I could never let them down. I've tried multiple times to start my own small business growing up so that I can hurry up and be successful and pay my parents back and prove to them and, and anyone who's ever supported me that this wasn't all for nothing. Prove to myself that I was meant to do this. Every time I tried to start my own business, it was always self-funded. I would work at a regular job, save up, and then quit and try to make it on my own. And every time it flopped, I would have to go back to serving tables, but with every time I tried, I learned something and I would apply it for the next time I decided to quit. I never regretted any of it and I never felt like I failed. I've always been someone that learned from my mistakes and I'm always trying to evolve and become a better version of myself. To me, it was worth risking quitting and trying to live off making and selling clothes because it meant I was one step closer to getting where I wanted. In 2020, as we know, the pandemic came and like many, I lost my job. I was also in my final semester of college and because I wasn't working, it gave me more time to work on my final collection and all of my projects, but of course, I wasn't making any money, so I was just living off my savings. Time went on, and I had finished school, and I thought, you know what? This is my opportunity to finally start my business again. I had no job, no school, and I had learned a lot more about sustainability and business, just barely, but, but I felt like I was a bit more qualified this time around. I had also had a better sense of my design style, because that was always something that I struggled with. So in July of 2020, I launched Vaed by Veronica Arroyo. It was slow at first, as I expected. I never think going into this that I'm going to just be successful and an overnight sensation. But a few months in, I went viral on TikTok and my brand started to get some traction. It was still slow, but at least I was making some more money from my brand. In March of 2021, I dropped my first mini collection for my brand. and. It was very successful. It truly exceeded my expectations and I was beginning to get a lot more exposure and constant orders. And I was so extremely grateful. It felt like everything that I had struggled through was worth it. But then I quickly started to realize that I was in over my head and I could not handle all of this work by myself. I had the occasional help from my boyfriend, but it still wasn't enough. I was sewing day in and day out consistently and I was overwhelmed and burnt out. 
I've always known that in this industry, you can't do it alone. You need to have a supportive team. And that's something that I have been craving and wanting my entire life. But I always felt like I wasn't ready to take that big step of getting a business loan or finding investors because I never truly knew what I wanted to bring into this industry. All I've ever known is that I wanted to have a brand that changed the world and had a positive impact i didn't just want to make clothing and i still feel that way and how i'm running my brand now it makes me feel like i'm not doing enough and i am not happy with it okay So I got a camera, a new camera. I ordered it off eBay because it's sold out everywhere or it doesn't ship to Puerto Rico like Sony or eBay or not eBay, um, Best Buy. And I also wanted to get one used. Like I always try to buy used things before new. And I got it in off eBay. I don't know, but it feels so light. This box feels really light. Like I'm so anxious. Like there better be a camera in here. said it doesn't come with a charger I think it's yeah I think it's just because it's just the camera okay there's a camera I got this zone let me collect myself I got the Sony ZV-1 and she didn't have a charger for it for the battery so I bought a charger she gave me an SD card. She gave me a 128 gigabyte SD card. I wonder if she cleared it out. I'm like so anxious right now. I'm like, this shit better work. It was expensive. I can get my money back, but like, I don't want to. I just want it to work. It works. It works. Wow, this camera is really tiny. They weren't kidding. Yay, I got a new camera, y'all. Be ready for this content. It's about to be ridiculous. How do we look? Is it focused? This was the camera that I was using before. It's a Canon EOS Rebel T3i. This is like your basic camera you get to shoot photos. It works great for photography, but it is not good for videography. Like it did not autofocus uh one like you move the lighting was always weird like it always makes everything more yellow for some reason or very warm toned and it was really big and chunky and i wanted something smaller so it was easier to like move around and vlog with so i'm happy for the upgrade i've been wanting this camera for so long and the moment i got paid for these pieces i was like i am buying the camera i'm not waiting anymore i have funds now should i have probably not because i need to save money but you know what this is an investment for my future so all right so i have finished making the blue sets i just have to start cutting out the rest of the other colors because i just had a little bit of um, fabric to make the vest for some orders but I needed the rest to come in um, to make the pants basically and then I still need to get the natural and brown linens from my Miami supplier but he takes a while to get back to me sometimes because he obviously works at the store and he can't always work with me on the phone so those takes a little bit of time But let's start cutting out these orders. In a time like we are now where the world is so uncertain and there's tragic things happening and our environment is going to crap, it feels worthless to me to make more clothing because that's the last thing that we need. And especially as a sustainable designer, I don't like to overmarket my brand and tell people that they need to buy my clothing because they don't. Overconsumption is the reason why the fashion industry is the way it is today and I don't want to contribute to it. Although I take an ethical and sustainable approach, 
Sometimes you just don't need clothing, especially now where everything is so expensive. I know that buying from my brand is a privilege because I'm not accessible to all. And as I'm growing and learning more about who I am and what I want to bring into this industry, I'm unsure if I want to pursue this career. I find myself thinking about other things that I could do to actually change the industry than to just make more clothing, but different approaches to actually trying to find ways to make the industry more sustainable. And I really don't know, but it's something that I'm constantly thinking about and trying to figure out. But then I take a step back and I remember that I truly do love fashion and I love sewing and creating and I feel like I've just been too buckled down on trying to make my passion a career and trying to make money and the commercial side that I haven't really dove into making art. I got too lost in trying to prove that this is what I'm meant to do and prove that everything that was sacrificed for me to get here was worth it but I'm losing the kind of designer that I want to be and the change that I want to make. The more I'm worried about making money from my career, the more I don't want to do it and I don't want that to happen. I've decided that I'm going to slow down and just have fun and create. I don't understand why we feel such a rush to figure out our lives and be quote unquote successful by the time we're 30. I'm 22 years old. My frontal lobe isn't even fully developed. I'm going to keep making mistakes and I'm going to continue learning from them. I truly don't care how long it takes for me to achieve my goals. I literally have the rest of my life to have the responsibility of a large brand. I will never be this young again and I don't want to constantly worrying about all the people that I am employing and all the things that I have to do. And this doesn't mean that I'm taking a step down from having my brand or making more YouTube videos. You're going to keep seeing a lot more YouTube videos and a lot more from my brand. But I'm going to start taking a different approach and just create. Take the natural route that you're supposed to as a designer and just have fun and experiment. I'm not here to discourage anyone from having a brand. I'm speaking from my own experience and I love being my own boss. It definitely comes with its own challenges and you definitely need to have self-discipline, but I'm still grateful for it and I couldn't imagine working for anyone else, but ultimately that is what I'm going to have to do for now. If I'm going to focus on just creating what I want, then I need to have multiple sources of income. So those are the steps that I've been taking to try and relieve myself. But of course, it takes time. And if I make money from what I'm making still, of course, that's a bonus. But I don't want to prioritize or sacrifice my art, my skill, so that I can make more money. For the time being, if I have to work for someone else to supply the money to eventually live off of my own brand, then that's what I'll do until I get that dream team that will help me achieve all of my goals. But for now, we're just going with the flow. I'm grateful for all the opportunities that I have and the life that I'm living, but we all have the option to make our lives better. And that's what I'm trying to do. Thank you guys for watching. As always, peace and love. Mwah. Vino, oh my god.
Ew, I can taste it. That's a nasty ass fart. Jesus. Oh my god, Vino. Jeez. Ew. That was gross.